Hi, welcome back. What you're looking at is the result of the uh, complete checking of the schematic and um, conferring with the actual components on the on the radio. As you can see, it's pretty well painted up in green and orange. And um, if you've seen any of my previous ones, you'll know that uh, the greens are the ones that have actually been checked one by one. Component values checked, confirmed. Those that need replacing were replaced. And the orange are those components whose connections I've checked but haven't actually checked the values. Now, the reason for this is simple. I have found that a lot of these capacitors don't vary at all. They haven't deviated in value. Um, the radio is working, as we'll see in a minute. So we don't have any major faults um, to worry about. And I usually don't check some of those components that um, are A, very difficult to remove, and B, have a reputation of being absolutely spot on like those caps over there. They're usually accurate to a couple of percent of their rated value. So this has uh, been quite a job, but it's not been as difficult as I thought it would be. I have the faceplate cleaned up and uh, put back. The knobs have been cleaned up, as I've shown before. Faceplate is in perfect condition. No breaks. No scratches. So we're basically ready to demonstrate this thing working. So first of all, I'm going to put in a, a wire antenna, just a, basically a, a wire into the FM, one of the FM dipole inputs. I'll stretch it out. Activate the dimmer box, give it power. I've got a speaker connected, it's not the actual speaker, it's a smaller speaker, but it's good enough for now. And we hit FM. The light has come on and dimmed again, so we have no shorts. I've put on another lamp. We've got 80 watt lamps on, on now, in series, and I think I can bypass it, which is what I'm going to do. So, bypassed it, and as you can hear, we've got sound. That's FM. It's not a very good antenna. I'm actually going to put in a, a dipole antenna and see if we can get a better reception. That's better. And that's FM. <laughs> Very good reception. up with a copyright notice. I'm actually picking up some Spanish stations here from the Canary Islands. The actual tone controls work very well. 
nuestras propuestas que de alguna manera les hemos podido inspirar, pues estamos encantados y eso va a hacer que sea muy sencillo, que nos podamos Maximum poner trouble. de acuerdo, ver cuáles son los puntos que a, a juicio de esta comisión yes, negociadora y de la militancia de Izquierda Unida y los simpatizantes de Izquierda Unida Unidad Popular son suficientes para un acuerdo de investidura. So our FM is working very well, and the other thing I've noticed is that um, the way the dial is aligned, after aligning the first one, or the first position, on the lower end of the FM scale, I've checked with known frequencies for the stations at the top end, and they actually correspond quite well. And this is great, it means I don't have to do an FM alignment on FM, which I never like doing. Um, I don't like touching the FM full stop because I don't have a high frequency RF generator so if things go pear shaped I have very few chances of getting it uh, back in uh, working order. What I do have on FM is a little bit of noise which is caused by the absence of that the can cover which is still missing. I'm gonna have to build one, make uh, some kind of makeshift cover for that because it does pick up noise and it does radiate noise so um, to get the FM quality up to the best it can be, I'm going to have to fix that up as well. Now I'm going to put in the other antenna, the long wire, for the AM. So now I've put in the um, long wire antenna. I've got it on shortwave and let's see what we get. And that's our short wave working. Now I'm going to put it on medium wave. I get exactly one Portuguese station in Madeira on medium wave, but I sometimes pick up a couple of Spanish ones from Canary Islands, so we'll see. That's a Spanish station. I'll try activating the ferret antenna by pulling out this knob, the volume knob. Doesn't make that much difference. That's the one we have in Madeira. Ferret antenna back in. As I said, not much there, but it's working perfectly. Try long wave now, which I don't expect to get anything on. As expected, practically nothing there. Now, all that leaves is the uh, phono input, and let me connect something on there now. So I have the phono connected now, and um, 
I've put in a mono signal from from the iPad. Give it more bass. So we have it working as well. Now that leaves very little left to do. I'm um, just about done here on the actual electronic restoration. Everything is properly completed, cleaned up, as I said with the exception of the FM cover which I still need to, to make shift. I'll have to get some thin sheet of aluminium and bend it and make a hole for the tube. I probably won't bother with the uh, holes for the tuning um, adjustments. Usually these cans have got holes in them so that you can reach the adjustment caps and, and coils with the uh, can on and that's how you should adjust FM. Um, I need to do, or I'm going to do, a quick check on the IF alignment on the AM, which is the only one that usually gets out of whack on these radios. But um, unfortunately, I have no um, instructions at all, not even in German this time, for this particular radio. So I'm going to have to make a plan. We'll see. I've got. Uh, all the identifiers here for the coils and the capacitors that shouldn't be too hard but um, finding out which is which is a bit of a problem I'll probably have to use a little bit of deduction on the schematic itself probably comparing it to the Gretz that I did where I do have uh, some instructions um, these uh, cans the way they normally work is you've got um, two adjustments, I beg your pardon, four adjustments on each can. Two of them are for the uh, AM IF and the other two are for the FM IF. In this particular radio, I have a strange uh, frequency range, there we go. The uh, intermediate frequency for the FM is 6.75 megahertz and for the AM is 460 kilohertz. The AM is pretty normal, whereas the uh, IF for the FM, the ones I've worked on, tend to be 10.7 megahertz, but that shouldn't be a problem, considering I don't want to mess with the uh, FM anyway. The other thing that needs checking is the tweeters, those two guys over there. They're still in the box, in the cabinet, I have not been using them. I've been using just a, a different speaker to test the sound on. Just this thing over here. And it's obviously not full range, so we're not getting the true treble content of the uh, audio. And from what I've been reading, uh, some of those tweeters do sometimes have a problem with um, the padding, the foam drying out, and uh, not working too well so we'll just have to see what comes out of a test that I'm going to do next. Um, I'll probably now focus a little on the requirement or not to do the IF alignment and um, and then we'll be ready to do the cabinet and test the tweeters make sure that they're fine before everything gets put in. The cabinet's going to be an interesting one. Um, it doesn't look too bad but I think this one will benefit from a total restoration, sand it down to the wood, give it uh, some color and then the lacquer. It's also going to be quite a bit easier than the ones I've I'm used to because all these, uh, the design of this radio is a lot squarer. As you can see, none of the curves that the others, the older ones tend to have. Um, the, these parts here tend to clean out quite nicely. 
and then I will polish, sand and polish the metal rim. Remove the speaker and wash the grill cloth with my usual mixture of uh, shaving foam. It sounds weird, but it works. Check the speakers, clean up the inside. It's pretty messy inside. That needs a good cleaning. And um, then it should be ready to fit the chassis back into the cabinet and connect everything up and call it the day. But there's still a bit of work to be done. This stage is pretty time consuming to get the woodwork done properly. I must admit it's not my favorite. I know it's not the favorite of many restorers, especially the ones who do this for the electronic side of it. But it has to be done. All right. Better get on with it.